Happy Tuesday, everybody. It's me, Marius, and I hope you're having a fan-fabulous day. Um, I've been having a great day. I've been doing a lot of things. It's technically my day off, um, but, you know, i am always got something going on. And today, um, I thought I would do a little wild offering um, <clears throat> reading or card. Wild offering are these really cool cards that you can pick one daily or weekly. I think there's like 52 in the deck, something like that. But you can pick a card and it kind of gives you a little bit. Hey, Matthew, gives you a little bit of inspiration. And I really like that video that you shared with me today. And I think that that would be a cool little subject for one of many for our podcast that we're recording on Sunday. If you're able to be there, I hope you are. But I thought that would be kind of a fun topic to go with as well. But we're going with, these are wild offering. Um, hold on, let me go back over here. Okay, I've snatched that. Um, they look like this, but I'm, I'll put it right wise over on the other side. They're little oracle cards. Yeah, it's a 52 deck or 52 card deck. Um, so you can have a inspiration for a week and that kind of be like a mantra or a focus, a goal. So for those of you, um, you know, it's funny, I'm listening, watching about Indigo Children, and um, a lot of times we want to do a million and one things, we just don't know where to start, um, because technically we can do a million and one of those things, right? And so anyway, this um, deck, the Wild Offering Oracle, is a great way for you to get your week into a focus. I think that's why I like Reiki when you come to think about it. Because in Reiki, we look at things as just for today, just in that moment, uh, or just for that day, that 24 hour period, if you want to go in that direction. And so when you think about it, um, uh, Reiki is really good for indigo children, <laughs> or indigo adults, indigo people, um, because we focus on just the today. and. Uh, but the Wild Offering card, 52-card deck. Uh, it's by Tasha Silver, S-I-L-V-E-R, just like the um, the medal I like to wear. And it is, it's a pretty cool little deck. And let's see if there's something specific. Um, I've been kind of waiting to see if something came flying out. If not, we're just going to kind of shuffle them. And... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, hey, one did come out. Oh, very cool. All right, so um, let's take a look and see um, what our Tuesday thought is. And this is something just to kind of help bring us back into focus, balance. It's Tuesday afternoon. It's like 4.20-ish, um, ish. Uh, so with that in mind, where do we want to focus? Um, if you've kind of fallen off the wagon already and you're like, I know it's Tuesday and I've already fallen off the wagon. This helps us get back into balance and get back on the wagon for um, to be our best own advocate. So let's take a look and see what that card is. And I'm giggling because I love this card. It's gratitude. Okay, and so here's here's the, the creativity or the remedy. It says... Find just one thing that you feel grateful for right now and let that gratitude pour through your body. It's a healing balm. It's a healing balm like the warmth of the sun. I mean, it's like, is that not like ding dang groovy? All right, it's saying so find this one thing that you feel really grateful for. Think about it, you know, kind of muse it in your head. Let that experience or that vibration, you know, it's kind of like you're sitting there. I'm grateful that Matthew shared that movie with me today, a video on YouTube. I'm really grateful that he shared it with me because it is, excuse me, inspired me for a discussion that we're going to do on our podcast on Sunday. So it's a really win-win situation on that. So I'm grateful and, I, and the way that it makes me feel that gratitude is I feel like my vibration is raised and I'm like ready to go dance. So let's read that one more time together so that we can be in harmony and hopefully 
Let that vibrate through. Let me bring it up where we can all read it. It says gratitude. Find just one thing that you feel grateful for right now and let that gratitude pour through your body. It's a healing balm like the warmth of the sun. It's supposed to make you feel groovy. Gratitude is supposed to feel groovy and be like a high vibe or a hum going through your body. So I hope you enjoyed today's Tuesday Think About It and learn to embrace a little bit of gratitude and what is one thing that you're grateful for today and put it in the comment if you'd like. We'd love to hear from you. Peace, love, and harmony. I hope to hear from you very soon.